That feeling there can really educate you to get the right type of strike with the power that you want. Perhaps your feet are aligning a little bit too right and then your shoulders are open. What that's gonna do is encourage an out to it. They're actually making a linear line here. And you think, how's that gonna help me? I'm just gonna dump into the ground. You're not. I know that you want to hit longer and straighter drives. Well, I'm gonna give you some crazy simple tips that are just easier to hit the ball and launch it with the driver with effortless power that's going to give you the consistency that you want. Too many struggle and hit the ball hard trying to get more distance, to try and hit it straighter. I'm going to show you that if we let go of a couple of things and apply a couple of things, your driving game is going to be transformed. Let's find out how. All right, I'm Alex Forte, and this is the Art of Simple Golf, okay? We are making golf a little bit easier for you. No matter whether you're a senior golfer, learning the game, or just trying to break 70 or 80, we want it to be a little bit easier. And the way people are wanting to hit the big dog to try and get more yards is just ruining the, the distances and the consistency. And it all comes down to tension. Anything that is too tight is not going to work. But it also starts with the setup, all right? You have to make sure that your setup just makes sense of what you're trying to do. With the driver, we want to be sweeping up on the upswing, all right? We don't want to be hitting down too much. Yes, many top pros do actually have like zero degree or one degree angle of attack with a driver, but they can generate a lot of speed. We want a little bit more consistency and reliability, and that happens with a slightly shallower, lower angle of attack. And that can be aided just by improving the setup, all right? So, first we're gonna cover the setup, then I'm gonna give you the swing keys, then I'm gonna show you how you apply it. The setup, very simple. Make sure you've got the, the ball kind of inside your left foot here, all right? If you're worried about uh, how far you need to stand open and stuff, or how wide you want your stance, a very simple checkpoint is literally just to jump up. And where you land is actually your pretty much optimal stance, stance width, okay? You do that. You get the ball across your left sort of chest here. The hands a little bit further behind. We don't want to be shoved forward like this. We want them hanging naturally. Now, you do, the next thing I want you to do is put your hands on your thighs here because too often we're like this, all right? Just way too stacked over it, a little bit too much like a driver, I suppose. As I said, we want a bit more of a shallower angle of attack. So by sliding the, the hands on the thighs here and moving it a little bit further down to the right, we're getting this spine tilt, which is gonna improve our angle of attack to hit it slightly on the upswing right, which is gonna get a bit more height and lower that spin, which is gonna give more distance and straighter shots. The next thing I want you to monitor is, where are your shoulders? Are they standing open or closed, okay? Perhaps your feet are aligning a little bit too right and then your shoulders are open. What that's gonna do is encourage an out to in swing path, which isn't gonna hit the straight shots. Because remember, one of the words we, we want to Memorize is launch. We want to sort of launch this driver. Imagine like a, a rocket. We want to launch it that way. We don't want to launch it into the ground, okay? So, closing up the shoulders just a little bit here and that right arm just a little bit softer, okay? We don't want this rigid. That's the, the one of the main feelings that we want here. And now we're getting into the real meat of the difference type of swing. We want to have almost no control. That's what I want you to, to, to feel here. If we're very rigid and trying to manipulate the club and throttle onto it and have tight arms, you think I've got to make a big turn, right? From here, we're locked in, we're tense. 
bad things happen from here. It's very difficult to have a nice smooth sequence to get it through. Even knowing what I know and, and how I can hit a golf ball, if I'm trying to hit a golf ball from here, you know, I talk about in another video, like a ty Tyrannosaurus Rex, that's, it's gonna be very difficult. So is any of this feeling a little bit familiar? The way you're holding on to tension to try and hit the ball harder. You're getting a bit frustrated with it. You're watching videos, hearing that you've got to make a big turn, that you've got to, you know, wind up and load up the golf swing to get the power. Is that something that you've been trying to do? And how have the results been for you? Let me know below, because I am interested. We want this club to feel like it weighs an absolute ton in our hands because we don't want a narrow golf swing. We want a wide golf swing. Doesn't necessarily mean it has to be long, but we want it to be languid and wide. And that happens with supple arms, okay? We don't, if we just allow our arms to hang loose, they, they're straight, okay? They're straight. As we set up, we let them hang loose. They are straight. If I hold on to tension, okay, they suddenly get sort of pulled in a little bit. And the more tense I am as I swing back, they get pulled in. But if I let them go, it's much easier for the width to be generated. And why width is good, as long as it doesn't come with tension, there's less variable. Because from here we can pull up and make our transition and maintain that width and reduce the variables. So when we swing through, we have that effortless sort of release and power, all right? So what we want to try and do here is overemphasize that movement. We've got the setup down. If you need to go back and check over those things, I'm not gonna repeat myself, but we wanna feel very loose in the wrist. A firm grip, but loose in the wrist, right? We're allowing the core to rotate, if you can. If not, it doesn't matter. You just allow your left side to lift up but we're having looseness in the wrist, we hinge and we re-hinge. That's all I'm doing. And I'm just not stopping my body from doing anything. I'm not keeping my feet flat-footed. I'm actually just trying to feel like I get through with my knees touching. That's all I'm thinking about. Because so much emphasis is on the, you know, the backswing and hitting at the ball. But really, we just want this ball to get in the way of this movement. So there's two things. You feel very soft in those wrists, very soft in those arms. Allow the club to hinge, allow the club to hinge back through. You are gonna be doing very well. Now, there's extra little bit of info here. To really get that angle of attack down with the driver, I want you to feel, when you make your backswing, I want you to feel as you make the move back towards the ball, okay? I want you to feel that the arms are just dropping straight down. They're actually making a linear line here. And you think, how's that gonna help me? I'm just gonna dump into the ground. You're not. Well, you're not if you have your intent of releasing the club and re-hinging it this way, and your movement and your body is just going to keep turning. With, I keep saying effortless, but that is the key. We want it to be effortless. So the drill almost is, you know, we make a nice loose backswing, keeping that width. We're dropping the hands down. So I hit the ground, but I'm gonna maintain it and I'm gonna lift back up so I don't hit the ground. So I take it back, hinge, drop, hinge. See that? Just by salvaging myself, I'm not dumping it into the ground here, I'm educating my brain, my body, to just clear out the way. And that's how we're going to get better contact. That's how you're going to get effortless distances and the consistency that you want. As long as you don't rush from the top, okay? As long as you just give yourself time and that fluid feeling, trust me, you cannot be too uh, loosey-goosey with the driver, right? You cannot. The more you feel like the arms are just gonna drop and you're just getting out the way, 
really accentuate it, try it. You'll be astounded at how much better and regular your contact is with the correct angle of attack. And you think you see all these videos about shallowing out, you know, you want to shallow out the swing, which is fine. You can add those components, but do not do it when you're rigid, okay? You've got to have looseness, just looseness and let everything be pulled through. So that's it, okay? Get your setup right. Rewatch those components. Make sure you've got looseness in your arms. Drop the club down and pull through. But here's the final little movement that I want you to have. All right, I've got um, a water, rather big water, pretty pink here, all right? What I'm trying to show you is, we want to feel like we are throwing this water, whether it's a range bucket or whatever, I'm throwing the water that way towards the target. I'm not throwing it over my shoulder. I'm not throwing it this way. I'm tossing the water that way, okay? So it's falling that way. And how does that happen? It doesn't happen by spinning the, the shoulders over, all right? It happens by the lower body transitioning, the hands dropping, but swinging through. But I'm actually feeling like my hips are ahead of my upper body. So it's kind of like I'm leaning back. And that's where we're gonna do another video on the catapult swing. But that feeling there can really educate you to get the right type of strike with the power that you want. So practice that as much as you can to thrust those hips forward and to throw the water that way. So there we have it. Some simple tips to improve your driver launch angle. Make sure you get your setup right, keep loose in the hands, feel like the club is dropping, and make sure you get through. Use the bucket, drill, whatever you need to do. But I hope you like that. Please like and subscribe, and there's a free series if you follow the link below as well. And if you have any questions, let us know. But until next time, thanks for watching. Now I'm gonna put it into practice. Lucy Goosey.